just piece after piece after piece of awesome stuff. You know it's a good thrift day when you need a trolley. This is fun. I only find one of these listed in the States, brand new with box, and they have them listed for $770. Happy Friday, guys. We are about to head out with Cara to a couple uh, savers, just smashing down the Vegemite toast on the way out the door. <laughs> Uh, it's actually Friday today, so we're going to do a bit of a Friday thrift. You're gonna, guys going to get a couple extra days with us because we usually start filming on a Monday. So hmm. we're going to start heading out, hopefully find some cool stuff to sell on eBay, and we'll take you guys along. let go. Got our post ready to go, about 13 orders from yesterday, so decent day. I will take them to the post office and head to six. We just spent like what an hour and a half in that savers and we all came out with like a lot of stuff so pretty happy with that okay savers was pretty good to us we got a bunch of stuff thrifty pixie got a bunch of stuff and our average cost of goods worked out to about ten dollars per item even though some were obviously more expensive some were obviously a lot cheaper i'll run you through the hard goods and the clothes and then brad will show you the shoes that we got because there's one pair in there that he's pretty excited about so we did get the three pack of blank Sony VHS tapes. This should sell for about 35 bucks for us. We grabbed a toner. It is Brother and we just made sure it is definitely still sealed. That one's going to be about $70. And a bunch of clothing. Some was new with tags. We got a brand new Asics Windbreaker. Brand new Tommy Bahama in a nice large size. We got some North Face pants, which always does really well for us. We haven't picked up Calibre in quite a while, but we usually get shirts and this time we got a lightweight jacket. So I'm pretty excited to see how much we can get out of that. This one's a little vintage World Rally car pullover. Some tapered G-Star jeans. Uh, I don't often find tiger, whoa, tiger lily for a good enough price, but I did pick up this little faux sheepskin vest and as you could hear, it does have a chain on it. Uh, should be pretty interesting to photograph that one. Hopefully it stands out. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren yachting knit. Uh, we don't often see Polo that's that interesting. So again, picked that one up because it should photograph pretty nicely. One of our absolute favorites, Harley Davidson. We grab the t-shirts, the button-up shirts. We grab the leather, if it's a vest or a jacket. This one is a hoodie. I uh, always love to grab a little Kathmandu and I chose this one because it has hemp in it. This is amazing. Brad found this vintage Acme Looney Tunes. That's so cool. A uh, couple of shirts, RM Williams, this is a size 16, which is uh, why I picked that one. And a few Thomas Cook as well. When we pick up Thomas Cook, we try and get this more heavy cotton, the drill shirts that are like the heavyweight work shirts. They tend to do the best for us. Two of those. And my best find for the day has to be this brand new pair of 100% silk assassin bide pants. And they actually didn't even make it onto the floor at Savers because I got them right off the rack as they wheeled it out. So that was an absolute gem. All right, we got a bunch of shoes at Savers this week. Love picking up shoes. Um, I picked up this pair of Brooks Ghost. Uh, very nice pair of shoes. These uh, lightly used. We're going to give them a bit of a clean up on the bottom, but very good grip pattern. Uh, we should get about 70 bucks on those, so keep an eye out for Brooks Ghost. Very, very popular pair of running shoes. I also picked up this pair of Vibram. Uh, I believe these ones were Caramore, so Caramore hiking sandals. Uh, very good condition. Look out for that Vibram so You always make some really good money on those. We picked up a heaps of um, Vibram so I actually picked up another pair of Keens just there. I think there was a couple more as well. Yep, one more pair of Keens. So. Definitely happy to pick up Keens whenever we see them. They were about $8 each. I think those ones were 11 the other ones were 9 
Uh, a pair of Kathmandu little hiking uh, sandals as well, Vibram Soles, so pick them up. Uh, these here, Jazzy picked up this pair of, I can't even say this properly, S Superga. Uh, and they are a House of Holland collab. So um, I think we've drafted them up about $50 and I think they were about $9 cost. As we said, we averaged everything out about $10 each. I picked up this really nice pair of Ariat. These are actually a kid's boot. Um, these were a little bit expensive. I think these are about $18, but even saying that, these should still go for about $69.95. So very happy with that one as well. Next up, a pair of Nike Shocks. Always keep an eye out for Nike Shocks. They do really well. Just make sure that the bottom of the sole is in good condition. These were quite good. They need a bit of a clean up on the front there. Uh, these were tagged at about $18. We got our 20% off as well, but these should go for about $69.95 pretty quickly. So happy to pick up those. Okay, the last item that I wanted to show you guys that we actually picked up at Savers was this awesome pair of Nike boxing shoes. Now, when I first saw these, I thought they might be fake because of that tag right there. But once I did a little bit more research, I realized that that's the tag that they put on these type of boxing shoes. So these are called the Nike Hyper KO MP, as in Manny Pacquiao. So I did a little bit of research on these and I can only find one of these listed in the States, brand new with box, and they have them listed for $770. Now, some of these have been going in other styles for upwards of $200. The only one that I could find similar to this exact one in a different colorway went for over a hundred bucks pre-owned. And this one is in very, very good condition. Look at the sole on that one, very good. Uh, it's got the fly wire. So absolutely stoked to have found that one. I actually want to know from you guys what you think these are going to sell for. I've listed these super high for $249.95. So let us know in the comments what you think this awesome pair of Nikes will sell on eBay. Monday morning guys, and we are about to go drop off the postage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we ended up with about 50 parcels over the weekend. Yeah. Really good day yesterday, so that was nice. Probably not gonna do a heap today apart from drop this off, hit a couple op shops. Tomorrow, however, we have a couple deals that we need to head off to. Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back. It is now Tuesday. Uh, we have a massive day ahead of us. So savers, we are hitting two of them because they're having a 50% off like clothing for members sale. So we're gonna hit that one. Then we have two local deals that we need to get done. So one to a subscriber. So thank you very much for reaching out to us and another local deal. So very, very busy day ahead. And hopefully we can uh, fit it in the car because we don't know how much we're getting today. <laughs> yeah, so we'll take you guys along with us and uh, try and show you what we're picking up. Well, pickup number one is now complete. Uh, I don't know if we're actually gonna get any of pickup two in here. There's some great stuff in here. We should, um, should be able to make some good money on eBay and we'll head down to this next one and try and squeeze it in somewhere. And then we'll do a little bit of a haul and get home and show you some of the cool stuff that we picked up today. Let's get to it. Well, what a day. The car is like chockers. Uh, pretty hectic, really. Um, we got some awesome stuff in here. What we'll do is we'll probably pull some of it out and uh, give you a little bit of a quick look -see. It's just piece after piece after piece of awesome stuff. Nice little Sega Mega Drive 2 inbox. Bits and pieces of gaming, which is awesome. Some really nice boots. Some of the Red Wings. A nice pair of RM Williams. Another pair of Red Wings. Some Doc Martens. Some printer ink. Some other shoes. Boots of jeans. RM Williams. Uh, this is Saver stuff. Some WWE figures. Some more ink. Keeps the clothes on the bottom there. Just stacks on stacks on stacks. Just woke up and remembered how much we bought yesterday. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to need my coffee before I can uh, start tackling all of that. We do also need to get in here and pack up yesterday's sales. Yesterday was actually a really low value sales day for us. So really good sourcing, but not very good in terms of selling yesterday. We do have a lot of work to do though, and uh, I think we might have to take this all outside and have a proper look at it. 
I feel like this is our market stall. <laughs> right. Uh, welcome to Twazy Thrifters Market Stall. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, yesterday we went and did a local deal um, with someone that reached out to us on the Twazy Thrifters account. They watched the videos and they needed to get out of some of this stock here because uh, their business is changing a little bit. So we ended up uh, going around. We weren't really sure exactly what was going to be there, but we ended up getting all of this gear for $1,500. So, I'm pretty happy with the deal. I think we'll be able to at least double our money, which is sort of the goal when we're doing these bigger buys. Um, obviously, if we were to sort of source this from an op shop, we may have made a little bit more money. However, this contact is willing to deal with us ongoing, which is a great thing for us. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do further deals and continue to bring this in. So, great little find. This was actually pretty much tailored to our store. And yeah. A selection made it just for us, which we are really grateful for. And grateful once again for our channel and the contacts that it's been able to provide for us. The wonderful thing about buying from a seller is that he actually understands our business mm. and the fees and the time and it made it really easy to negotiate. Yeah, definitely. So what we'll do now is we'll show you some of the stuff we actually got. We won't go through everything because there's crazy amounts of stuff here, <laughs> but we'll pull out some of the better stuff and you guys can let us know if you think we've got a good deal at 1500 bucks. So let's get into that. Kicking it off with the games, we have a stack of PlayStation 2 games. They always lot up really nicely with a console. We have a few boxed PC games. The heavy hitter of this lot is the Mega Drive 2 in a box and a couple of boxed games with that as well. We have a stack of Xbox and PlayStation 3. There is a stack of Wii with a few Mario Kart in there, which always does really well for us. And something we don't get a lot of is the baseball caps. So we're pretty excited to see what these kind of comp out at and see what the value is. We got a heap of clothes. We love a band tee. This one is a 2011 tool tee. We've got a few Levi's there and some motor racing on the Puma and the Mustang, Holly Ralph Lauren and little Timberland at the back. All right, we ended up with a bunch of jeans as well from this lot. We got this really nice pair of Edwin Made in Japan Selvage denim jeans. We got this new brand that we've never heard of, but comps on this is crazy. Momo Taro, keep an eye out for that. Uh, even used over a hundred bucks, which is awesome. We grabbed a pair of Ed Hardy. We don't usually do too much Ed Hardy, but as a lot, I'm happy to grab them. Nice pair of Avisu, always do quite well for us. Um, very, very good brand. Rod and Gun, and then a bunch of Iron Williams there as well. So that was all part of the lot. We also got a bunch of like jackets, jumpers and polos. We got this nice 2003 Scotland rugby polo. We got uh, Scotland on a Canterbury tag, very nice. We got this nice Dickies extra large jacket. We got this Adelaide Crows on the Adidas tag. It's a sort of an older one. It's not vintage, but nice jump all the same. A nice Columbia. Uh, this one is in very good condition, so keep an eye out for that. This is something we've never had before, Valentino, so it's going to be interesting to comp that out. And we've got a really nice leather Colorado jacket. Now, Colorado is something we haven't really tried too much before, especially in leather. So that one's going to be interesting to see how that one comps out as well. We love selling shoes and we have some of our favorite brands in here and some things that we are excited to learn. We've got some Scarpa, we've got Doc Martens, Patagonia, and we have never sold Todd's before and we have never sold these camper shoes before, uh, but we've been assured that we will not be mad that we learned it. There are also things like Merrill hiking shoes, and down the bottom here, we get into the boots. We've got RM Williams down here, which I am excited to polish up. These ones are Fry, which we rarely find in the wild. A new one for us is Tony Llama. We have two pairs of Red Wing boots. And a pair of Thomas Cook. We're super happy with what we got in this local deal and really grateful that he reached out to us and hopefully we now have an ongoing contact. Yeah, for sure. We also went to Saves yesterday. They had a 50% off sale for members with this little code. <laughs> uh, so we actually got quite a lot of gear in there as well. So we'll probably try and list some of that stuff today and show you guys what we got there as well. And do you think that we got a good deal at 1500? Yeah, I think we did okay. I think we'll at least double up, but let us know in the comments what you guys think. Shopping at Savers these last few months, we've had a really steady average cost of goods of $10 per piece coming out of there. 
And shopping the half-off clothing sale, we actually had an average cost of goods of still $10. And the reason being we were able to buy the items that were previously prohibitively expensive. So we were able to go in and clear up all the stock that we'd kind of left behind before because it cost too much. And when I say it's too expensive, I mean for our purpose for reselling, it's probably still a good price for a personal cop, for people who are in there just shopping for themselves for their wardrobe. Uh, but for us, we do have to leave things behind if they're too much because it just it doesn't make sense for us. But this time we were able to clear up, we got a really good amount of stock worked out to the same that we usually spend which is absolutely fine and we got a couple of extra things in there a couple of pairs of boots which uh, were not half off but were still pretty well priced so I'm gonna clean them up and get them listed Well, two minutes is about all I'm willing to invest. All I've done is given this one a dust off. I've given it a little bit of leather conditioner and a buff, and it is looking so much better than its friend here. Uh, I think for the two minutes that I put in, I've definitely increased the value. It's gonna photograph a lot better. And I also just really, really enjoy buffing leather. Hey Jazz, I got a new toy. What is this? I'll show you. Oh, no more shaky, shaky vlogs. Last week, my hand was going crazy trying to vlog myself, so we got a gimbal. Oh, quality about to go through the roof. But I just wanted to give you a quick tip. So when we get home from the thrift store and we've got all our stuff, we actually break it down into categories so that we can list all this stuff together. So what I've done here is I've done like all your shirts, your jackets, all things that are gonna have similar measurements and are gonna be easy for us to sort of um, deal with in one lot. So I've just got all the different th bits and pieces here that we picked up yesterday from Savers. All of this was half off, so ignore those prices. Um, but yeah, it just makes listing them a whole bunch easier. You can just smash in the same template over and over. You don't have to worry about it. I've got all our jeans here as well. So hot tip, get your stuff sorted before you start listing. It'll make your process a whole lot easier. The pink Doc Martens from Savers on the other hand don't need any TLC at all. They are so schmick. This is my favorite purchase. Paid $39.99 and I would pay that every dang day. This week was an absolute roller coaster on eBay. We had one of our quietest days in ages on Tuesday. We made just over $200. Mm. Next day, $1,200. It's so unpredictable, but we have a heap of awesome stock now and I'm going to spend the rest of today just photographing. Yeah, we got plenty to do, but before we get into that, we just want to shout out a few people who have bought us coffees over the last yes. couple of weeks. So thank you to Michael for buying us a coffee. Thanks to Tom, you always uh, shout us a coffee or two every week. So thank you very much, Tom. Uh, for Belina, aka Thrift Mother Flipper, we really appreciate that. Thrifty Mother Flipper, sorry. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, Wayne, thank you very much. Always good to see you out and about. Uh, and Peter Say is really appreciate you guys jumping Thanks, on guys. and uh, grabbing us a coffee. It so, does help us to make more videos. Yeah, next week we are thinking of doing like a pick and pack video. So if you'd like to sort of see that, let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll try and show you some of the sales that we're getting each day. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time on Twilsy Thrifters. Bye for now. What's up? Mother <laughs> on a mother <laughs> plane.